I'm Nick. And I'm Sam. Alright, so today we're doing a review on the Justice League, the Snyder Cut. Alright, so I'm going to start it off like this. There it was. <laughs> Go on now. <laughs> I'm going to start it off like this. I enjoyed the, uh, the theatrical, it wasn't technically the original, the one they put out in the theaters. <laughs> when it came out, I enjoyed it. I did. I liked it. I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was great. I thought it was okay. <laughs> I thought I, it, I did not you didn't, like it. You didn't like it at all. Nope. I thought they showed no justice for anything. <laughs> it should have been called Justice League. There was no justice there. Well, they, you know, they used some like that movie was his movie. They just chopped it up the way they wanted it, right? Yeah. So they made it a terrible movie. Well, it's bas it, it, it it's basically the same, but in the right order he wanted it to be in. So, but, I'm, all right, yeah, I said that. I like the original, what was it, 2017 movie? Yeah. Came out November 17th of 2017, I believe. No, 18th. It came out November 18th, 2000. Doesn't matter. I got 17th. It came out, technically, it came out 17th because it was Thursday night, but we're rolling over into Friday morning, so it's, you know, kind of not every I enjoyed it. But seeing this one, it's kind of like, that was the first Justice League movie that they ever made, right? Because I've never, I never seen one. And so, uh, you know, you, you just kind of expect something. You didn't expect what 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 Zack Snyder made or what the, the Josh Whedon guy did. And uh, comparing them together, the the one that came out on HBO Max is like Snyder way, cut. Snyder cut. <laughs> it, it, it's like way better. It's um, it's four hours long, but I think they needed that much uh, time to get like all the all the backgrounds together, like all the points across, like what they're trying to do and. What's going on in the world and this and that? And then I think, I think the rated R, uh, the rating was uh, it needed it. It needed that too because if it wouldn't have had that, they wouldn't have the uh, the fight scenes the way they did. Like the way they, the way they. Oh yeah, it's a spoiler one, right? Yeah, of course, it's a spoiler. Right. Um, well, the way they, the way they killed Stefan, well, I think they needed to do it that way because they. Then the other one, it uh, really didn't make a whole lot of sense with the. Um, well, what? How'd he go? Like they, they uh, he got Step scared. Level? Yeah, he got scared because his axe got broke, and 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 oh, yeah. uh, the, the uh, bugs got him. they went against him and started attacking him, which I didn't hear a whole lot. They didn't explain like a whole lot how they do the fear thing. Like like it was kind of a, a big thing on the other one where they smell fear and they, they do do this and that. So they took that kind of element out of it, and I think I think it, it needed to be rated R, and I think it needed to be four hours. Some people say it was kind of long. Some people say. It was long, but it was it, what, it, what it was. It was what it needed. <clears throat> it was worth it. It was, and it really was, and I think it needed to be. Now, go on, you. Now, yeah. What's your thing? About what? About video? Yeah. What is your thoughts? Ah, uh, it was a great movie. You can see right here. This is what Stephen Wolf did look like. This is what he looked like now. <laughs> see, see that big difference right there. Man, this movie was way better. They had more storyline. They had with the characters that they didn't already have standalone movies. They focused on them more, like the Flash and Cyborg, which made them look great on this one. On the other one, they was wimpy. They was scared of everything. On this one, they was all tough and they all agreed on everything. They was actually united, which made it way better. All the scenes was the fighting scenes. They was all helping out. It wasn't just one person, except of course Superman at the end. You know, he was just. You know, he's Superman, he's just beating out Stephen Wolf, of course. And Batman then, almost killed him. Who? Batman. Almost killed who? Superman. Yeah, Superman almost killed Batman. He bleeds. Could've. 
He could have. No, no, that wasn't on this one. No. On this one, so, he kept just trying to block no, it no, until he was about to die. Uh, Batman. Oh, yeah. He bleeds, Batman. No, no, of Batman. Of course, he's no, a human. No, no, Batman asked him, do you bleed? Remember on the other one, right before he... Could have asked him, too. That wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't this one. And he was like, oh, yeah, I bleed. I no, weep. I yeah, weep. Was... I just weep. <laughs> <laughs> that was on the wrong one. Why are you living in the past? Yeah, on this one, he was just about to just cut him in half, and Batman was just sitting there. <laughs> oh, Batman. My glasses. I need my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Batman was choosing to give up his life. To bring Superman back. Choosing? There wasn't a choice. He didn't have kryptonite. No he more. clearly had a choice to bring him back to life, and he chose to do it. That's why it he was so... Choice. It was their choice. But uh, he was... Everybody else was like, are you... <laughs> Aquaman was like, are you sure? Are you sure? And uh, Cyborg seen the Flash. He was like, no. And Batman was like, do it. Do it. Because he was willing to give his life up to bring Superman back because he felt like he was more human than him. That's... If you, Wait, what? That don't make sense. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense because... No, because he, he didn't think he was going to come back evil. They knew, they kind of had a feeling that it would kind of, you It know. might have, but they was all going to agree to it. It wasn't just Batman. But like, I was, think he's going to come back evil. So well, I'll Batman, sacrifice myself for this. Batman, was, Batman was willing to sacrifice himself. That doesn't make so, sense. They was all willing then. No, well, the other ones were kind of superhuman, you know. <laughs> they were willing to fight. Batman was willing to sacrifice himself. Yeah, you know he had a, a kryptonite bullet in his back pocket, but he didn't just want to shoot him. He was willing, you know. His back sac- pocket was through a cop car. <laughs> He wouldn't have been able to reach it. <laughs> but he would have been able to as he was walking. He had plenty of time. He would have been dead. And that was another good this thing. This is when Superman was already going to be evil. He was about to kill Bang. him. Bang. He would have been dead. Didn't have Superman. a choice. Never had a choice. Bang. Did he? You see that? You see that? Bang. And I got with his hands up like this going. <laughs> well, we can all go. We can always go back to Batman v Superman if you want, because that's part of. Or the we river. go back to Justice Lee Snyder cut. Yeah, but I mean, we can. I mean, we know if Batman wanted to, he could kill Superman. We know Superman could kill Batman if, if Batman to. wasn't gonna fight him. Yeah, uh, yeah. If Superman wasn't gonna fight him. Oh, if Superman was fighting. I, I remember. Going, hey, if Batman was fighting. I Batman, see him trying to reflect those things. He wasn't trying to shot. reflect them. He was just trying to block his face. Shot. Shot. He was trying to block his face. Anyway, his face. Yeah, he was aiming down here. Oh, well, either way, he was trying to block his body. Superman threw Batman. He was pretty much just like Superman also threw him through a light, and then also yeah, threw, threw him. him. He had a big old metal suit on. Yeah, but it come on, he he could he could have broke it, but he didn't have a chance because Batman was yeah, too oh, bad, yeah, he did too it, smart, and too um, ah, smart. <laughs> Superman is <laughs> Superman. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, that's what they always say, you know, Superman, Superman, but Batman, you know, he outsmarted him, outwitted him, and, you know, just kind of beat him in every way, shape, or form. You know what I mean? Mm Mm-mm. I didn't see it. Uh, Justice League, I did not see this scene. What scene are you talking about? (laughs) That was... When? When will it happen? That was, um... That was, um, on Batman v Superman. But, uh, another good thing, is I love the way they did the Flash in this one. The Flash was... He was like if you if you I think everybody who watched the, the Snyder Cut probably watched the other one. Yeah. So he was uh, afraid to fight. He was um he was a uh, uh, over over trying like trying to be overly funny and he was like this like they try to make him this corny kid and on this one they he was still funny because he was a young guy and um but he was more serious because he his life put him through them things with his mother dying his father being locked up and him working towards something it put him in a uh, um. A mindset of kind of you know he wasn't afraid to fight he wasn't afraid to do this he was and at the end of the at the end of the movie if it wasn't for him you know manning up and you know uh, taking control everybody would have been dead that's and he wouldn't have done that in the other one because he was he was afraid of it he was you know I don't know he just seemed too much like like what like 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 um like scared and and too um what's the word I'm thinking of where you joke around too much or uh, sarcastic or whatever you know like. It was just too yeah. much. It was too much. And they showed him in a good form. And I honestly, I liked him a lot more than I liked him in the other one. Cyborg, man, he was, um, he was, he, he, same thing. Like, he was way more serious. He was way, like, he kind of got an um, idea of, um, like, his, his actual um, anger towards the world, his frustration, and, like, everything. They showed his background where his dad was never around. The dad tried to bring him back. He blamed his dad for the mom's death. He blamed his dad for it. Him being like that, and then when the dad died, you know, he kind of, it was all, everything hit him at once because he was always mad, and that made him even more mad that he couldn't forgive his father, and it, it just, it all worked out really well, and he, he kind of kept that attitude towards the end and even past the end, you know, that, that that helped out his character so much compared to what it was. I think at the end, he was kind of, 
cracking jokes too and stuff like that, right? Cyborg on the other one. I'm like, oh yeah, he's, he's, he's cracking one. jokes and kind of being the same way. But I think I think everybody's uh, character was a little bit better this time because they kept to what they were going for and they didn't kind of. To me, when they did the other one, they tried to go towards making it like an Avengers type movie, and they kind of made it like too too much comedy, too much funny, too much this, too much that. But the the one that got released was kind of sticking to the Batman versus Superman, the the Man of Steel, and they they say they're going down they're going down a path to get it to the point to where because everyone's mad about Batman killing and. Uh, Superman, he killed uh, Zog and everything, but they say they're going down a path to get it to where they hit that point to where they're, they start agreeing that, you know, killing's wrong and this is wrong and that's wrong, but they got to get to that point through these movies that they were putting out, which I don't know if they're going to, I think they're going to change the universe now, but if they would have continued it, like somewhere down the fifth movie, they said that's whenever they would have started being the Superman and the Batman that everybody knows and kind of being on the... Um, on the side of no killing and all this and all that, but as they had to grow into that, like I imagine anyone. <laughs> Your take. Yeah, yeah. I said that too. <laughs> I pretty much said that. It was a good movie. I liked it. Uh, the Flash was way more powerful than what I thought he was going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Even towards the end, when everything, they the boxes connected and the world ended but he stopped it or he didn't get destroyed which Superman did everyone did he was he was quicker than the blast well he was quicker than the blast well he was quicker than he I think he just was in a time loop thing it was supposed to be in because the whole world was already already wearing around the whole world I don't think so I think it just barely exploded because the ground in front of him was there but right in front of that was where it was destroyed. when he turned around he came back when he was looked this way, it was in, went across the sky and everything. And he looked like in the trailer. When he looks forward and he turns around and looks and it's all tearing up everything. Well, I mean, but but like like his feet was on the ground and there was like a space. Like right in front of it was emptiness. And so when he when he hit that point. he was in a loop. So just right where he was standing was still ground. Okay, well that's what I'm saying. That time, that he, he didn't get destroyed because that, that he was off. Like he wasn't hit with the blood. But all behind him was destroyed. I don't think so. I gotta rewatch. But yeah, yeah. Way super, way more powerful. And that that scene was, that scene was like super, super, super cool. good. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, I don't know. It was just I don't know. You seen him like he you already. We already had a feeling on what he was gonna do, and he's just like you know he starts talking and he starts saying things. You're like he's about to travel in time. I didn't know how far he was going to go back in time, though. Yeah, I thought he was going to go all the way back to where he's talking to um, Batman from the other one. <laughs> Bruce! <laughs> um, <laughs> so many random errors. No, but uh, that, that's kind of what I thought, too. But I kind of thought maybe he was going to jump back to the beginning of the movie. And then he was going to work his way back all the way to the end. That was going to kind of go through it fast. And he was going to explain to him what happened. But I'm glad they did it like that because that shows that with all that power, it barely moved it back that short amount of time. So for him to start being able to travel through time, he's going to have to use so much of his power. He ain't going to be able to do it like every time something goes wrong. I think that's good. Like if he can travel back in time every time, every time something goes bad, then, then you know there's no real consequences behind anything. Yeah. That's pretty good. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's her name? The uh, Aqua Lady, Aqu uh, the Aquaman's girl. The uh, I, don't, I don't know her name. The beautiful redhead. I don't remember her name. The one who Johnny Depp beat up. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, Amber Heard. Johnny Depp beat her, threw her to a glass table, and drug her to a thing, which is not funny. But um, on her character on there, uh, she had an accent. Oh yeah, the, uh, what, 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 what was from. it about? Like she had like a like just horrible. What was it like? Uh, like English accent? Yeah. It was so strong, and uh, and Aquaman she didn't have it. Is that what? Is that what she was supposed to have in the in the original Justice League? I didn't I didn't, I didn't hear it in that one either, like the theatrical version. No. But but man, I heard it like crazy at the end. I, I would do it, but I don't think I can do it very well in that sense. <laughs> but, I think she was supposed to be because it was a different timeline. And then that's the kind of what I thought too. What if that's another another multiverse? And then they go over to this one to try to save this one before it happens over there. And that would make a lot of sense. That's why Joker, no tattoos or nothing. And 
It could be a completely different, and he's dreaming about it because technically it's him, but in another universe. Yeah. And that would make a lot of sense, and maybe that's how they're going to connect it. And that's well, why but, Superman had the red suit. Yeah, yeah, but I, like I said, I don't know if they're going to continue working on it now. I don't know, like, I don't know if they're going to keep It'd going. It would be good if they did. I hope so, even if they do it, like, even if they do it to an exclusive HBO Max uh, type of movie where they keep putting it on there instead of releasing it in theaters, I'd rather do that anyways. I think it'd be Worked good. Worked out good. Yeah, but I, I mean, if, if it works out, that's kind of an idea I had too. Like, it's a different universe, and they're trying to travel here and tell them what's going on. And that's what explains the tattoos going on the Joker, her horrible accent, and the Flash had a different suit, and Dead Dead Deathstroke had a mohawk. I don't. I mean, I guess it could have shaved his head, but you know, <laughs> these characters looked all—they all looked different and sounded different a little bit. But that, that makes sense. Battery, accent, man. Battery's dying. Okay, well that's our review then. <laughs> Anything else to add? No, that's about it. Oh, besides, um, Martian Manhunter was on there. Yeah. Uh, Through a couple of scenes, but... Two scenes. Two scenes. It would have been better if he would have had an actual fight scene, but he also explained why he didn't. He, he didn't really care for the world. He was like, eh. Yeah. If it's destroyed, he can fly away and... So the end, then he wanted to... And then, yeah, he, said, he said he'll be, he'll be ready for the fight, and he's going to be watching out for him, too. And the Green Lantern, I didn't really show a Green Lantern, only in uh, uh, the fight scene, so. Fight scene and at the end, in the uh, Dream World. Yeah. No, when the uh, uh, Cyborg, Cyborg, Cyborg saw the Which was, that, that, that whole movie was good. One to ten. Ten. I'll give it a ten. I liked it a lot, and I've been waiting for it, so I'm going to give it a ten. Ah, uh, hmm. Hmm. There was things I didn't like about it. Ah, uh, I figured. I figured there was. <laughs> so what are you rating? Ah, <laughs> uh, it can't be bad. It's not bad at all. It's a really good movie. Probably going to be the best movie this year. I think so. I don't think nothing's going to match it. I don't even think Kong vs. Godzilla, which is going to come up next. I don't think oh yeah, that's going to be good. It's going to be good, but I don't think it's going to match the Snyder Cut. Um, I can't think of nothing I didn't like. So as of right now, it's a 10, but... On our next video, I'll rate it what I want because I'm going to rewatch the movie a few times. I'm just yeah, going to watch it again. I'm just going to throw that in there like if we're doing some kind of review on food or this Hey kind of... guys, if it's an energy, it's a 9! <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably be like a 9 when I'm done watching, but I'll, I'll do 10 out of 10 because, I don't know, it just fit. Everything fits so good. Waiting for it for so long. And Waiting it for it. And yeah, you know, you look back at our previous videos, I I was, you know, hashtagging the Snyder Cut like crazy, you know what I mean? To find it, but yeah. Just go through our videos and you'll find it, I guarantee it. Go through it. If you find it, uh, Send it to us and tell us which video it is because we cannot find it. It's in the video. He just he just mad because he didn't hashtag the Snyder Cut like as much as I did. I'll, I mean, if y'all can find it, I'll stand, I, I, I went through every video. I was standing on the corner. 14 to 20 hours. Hashtag the Snyder Cut. And then when people would say, what? I'd be like, it's five bucks. <laughs> five bucks makes it.